and welcome back to Face Sun, everyone. Our next guest is doing some incredible work in the Silicon Valley. He's the executive director of Cancer Care Point, a nonprofit that helps cancer patients and their families fight the good fight by providing support on so many platforms, from nutrition to emotional support and everything in between, whatever it takes to get through your journey. And everyone is welcome, and it's free. Let's say hello to Cancer Care Point's Rob Tufel, how yes. are you? Hi, thank you very much. I can't believe that. So it doesn't matter the cancer you have, where doesn't you're matter. from, whatever. Doesn't you come matter. in, you're going to embrace them and help them out. That's exactly right. We knew <laughs> that people in the, you know, we have great, in Silicon Valley, we have great medical care. Unfortunately, we know that cancer is not just a medical crisis. It's a you family know, thing. It's a family thing. You get impacted psychologically, financially, practically. So we created this amazing space in San Jose that when people walk in, it's really a refuge for them. We have a fireplace. We call it our anti-doctor's office. <laughs> Big, <laughs> comfortable chair. It's very welcoming. No bad music playing. No bad music, no white <laughs> coats. People walk in and they just take this sigh of relief because it's a refuge where they know they can get the support that they need. We have a viewer that might have cancer or a family member. What do they do? How do they get involved? Super easy. They mm -hmm. can give us a call at our phone number, 408-402-6611. Uh, mm -hmm. Easiest thing, of course, is to go on our website, cancercarepoint, all one word, dot org. And the care in there? That stands for counseling, assistance, resources, and education because that's what we offer. That's what you do. Yep. Uh, talk about some of the programs. That, yeah. what, what will people do if they become part of it? Oh, you know, when you're dealing with cancer, there are so many things that you have to focus on. So, of course, one of our most popular programs is nutrition. You know, I say nutrition crosses every ethnicity, every group. Everybody wants to focus on food. What don't I eat? What can I eat? If I'm not feeling well, if I can't eat, how do I stay you nourished? Go through chemo, that kind you of go thing. through chemo, absolutely. <laughs> So we have nutrition classes. We have a survivorship program. When people finish their treatment, the doctor says, okay, you're done, you're cured, go back into your life. Yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, hey, guess what? I've just had a trauma, something's changed. We developed an eight-week program that people can sit down and say, how do I get back into my life? What, what's next? What does right. this look like post-cancer? Are you busy? Oh my God, we're incredibly busy. I bet. We're incredibly busy. We opened up in October 2013. You know, we had 25 new, 25 new clients a month. We were beside ourselves. Now, on the average, we're getting 70 to 80 new clients a month, plus, of course, all the people coming back to continue the program. I get yoga, art therapy, yep. massage. Yep. So it, it, Counseling, support groups, educational workshops, a wig bank. A wig bank. Now, what, let's talk about, I would imagine, and we talked about this off camera, yep. but those that, you know, have fought the good fight are cured. Yep. Uh, and they might come back and help out as well, right? Absolutely, absolutely. We take, we have people donating wigs who've come to us, they get their wigs, and then they donate them back so another cancer patient can use them. Mm -hmm. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, we also get wigs just donated from, there's a, a store in Los Gatos that will just donate wigs to us. Um, and you can imagine how incredibly uh, uh, emotionally difficult that is to come in, you're losing your hair and say, I need help. Right. Um, and so when they can finally give back, it's incredible, but lots of volunteer opportunities. And not only that, to hear from someone that has succeeded yep. and, and is there for comfort, yep. knows where they're going, and knows their journey. Yeah. Because they're, they're all different, but similar in their own little way. That's right. I mean, what we focus on, no matter what the outcome, mm -hmm. we focus on healing. We want to improve that person, patient, family member, improve their quality of life so they can be at their best to deal with this illness. How grateful are the families? Oh, I, I can't tell you, you know, you, it, I, I, every day we hear these amazing stories. People will come in and they will tell us, I, I, it, was like, it was like a refuge. It was like uh, uh, my life was saved. I couldn't believe it. We had one client come in. Um, she had gone to a store to get a wig. She couldn't afford it. Single mom, single mom you know, two kids. Uh, she comes into us. She says, I need a wig. How much does it cost? And we said, there is no cost. She started crying. You know. Well, you know, what blows my mind is it's, it's free, it's yep. accessible, it's in the Silicon Valley. Yeah. Yeah. Great work. Excellent. Rob, so great to meet you. Thanks Thank you so in. much. Appreciate it. If you'd like more information about Cancer Care Point, log on to cancercarepoint.org, cancercarepoint.org. That's our show, folks. Enjoy the weekend, everybody, and we'll see you again next week right here on Bay Sunday. Take care.